so i'm coming back to google because you know there are some things which you learn in big tech right you yeah. may be learning some leadership lessons as well and you know you you worked there for almost 5 years more than 5 years um yeah. what are the learnings that you've had over there that you're applying over here in in shadowing mm-hmm. probably because you're now out of google like i can probably ask you this question so uh, what are your learnings from google and how you're applying them here and probably leadership as well like what's what's your take on that yeah so yeah i mean first of all i mean those five five and a half years at google were a dream uh, i think uh, more than the company and the you know culture i think it's about the people like day in and day out you surround yourselves with people who are equally and more competent so you always have a bar a benchmark to look up to and you know always strive for improvement and perfection i think that's something that i will always miss it will take me a while to uh, you know have a team like which has such high level of talent density okay hey so yeah. that's like the preface but in terms of what i have learned i would say one is more around stakeholder management which i didn't realize it then but i realize it now that even though it is a thrown around jargon but it actually has a much more deeper impact because it means that you are able to take the team together right you are able to yeah. get the team and it's a very soft leadership skill and i think i'm still on the process of developing it but like whenever there's a team meeting whenever we do even this with this small team that we have in charging guy it's about getting the team in together showing them the vision showing them that okay all of us are going to work on this for the next one month right? okay so i think that's definitely one thing the second thing probably would be pitching okay because we are currently at a stage where we are reaching out to investors accelerators one and so forth and again i didn't realize it when i was at google i realized it more after now that it it comes so naturally to me to create a pitch deck to understand what a flow should look like to understand how to do a market sizing to understand you know what could be important for the person who's looking at it like for me it came in very naturally but it's when i came in i realized okay this is not a very common skill as of now so i think that's the second and i think apart from that it is more around uh, finding the right metrics to optimize on because right. i think the journey and the importance of a startup is completely built around finding the right metrics that you will optimize for because the only way you can be a startup for a longer time is speed and speed without direction will just kill you and the direction is what the matrix provide interesting man i'm noting these things because they are so insightful from a leadership perspective because you are a long, young leader right now you just got into this amazing space so bringing people together pitching you know following the right metrics and speed to market as you talked about i think these are like things which leaders should focus on when they start out their own uh, ventures as well right Thank you.